come on now. Oh, come on now. Oh, come on now. <laughs> See? Holiday spirit. Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer. Rudolph the wine-nosed reindeer. I talk a lot about the, uh, uh, well I talk a lot, really. <laughs> but um, I, you know, I like to think of, of there sort of being, you know, four possible results to the culinary pairing endeavor. Um, the least desirable of which is negative culinarity. You know, when you have essentially two dishes that just do not work together. They may be perfectly reasonable dishes on their own, but when you put them together, they actually make each other worse. Um, I think probably the most common, not so good result you get is, you know, what I sort of think of as uh, sensorial diffidence. You know, and there's just kind of a passivity. There's a there's a wallflowerness to it where there's just nothing really happening. You know, the the two things just coexist without really realizing that each other is even there. It's you know, squirrels and rabbits in the yard, really. Um, I think probably the most common positive result. Um, is is uh, is you know what we sort of think of as as um, you know gustatory confluence you know an integrative um, happening you know uh, colloquially you can sort of think of it as the church and steeple you know it's you know here's the church here's the steeple open it up see all the people you know how nice get along you know integrative intertwined and braid the lanyard mother's lanyard it's the mother's lanyard of culinary pairing uh, but. What we're really after is something beyond that. You know, we're, we're looking for transcendence. We're looking for nirvana. We're looking for something that is beyond what we see. It's, it's, it's something that's not there. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a being from another universe that's in the room but not discernible, not identifiable. It's, it's as if by adding this to this, some third thing happens. It's, 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 a, it's a ghost presence in the house that isn't actually quantifiable. It's, it's, it's ghosty. It's, it's Ghosty culinarity. The whisk. And whisk in some Worcester. 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 Hello, Worcester. Uh, one cup of Worcester. Word. Two cups of olive oil. Holy Moses. I'm about to get all kind of Mediterranean on this bad boy. Get some of that delicious ridge olive oil. Uno. Dos. Oh yeah, man, my Spanish is popping. Okay, so. I believe in the 2010 Montebello because it's got those complexities. It's got that multi-striated array of hue and tone and texture. You know, it's um, it's just, it's symphonic. It's violas and cellos and violins and tubas and bassoons and obas. It's a tapestry. It's it's a soundscape. It's a it's a uh, it's a it's a sensorial. It's a palette scape. That's what it is. The 2010 is a palette scape. Slow roasted cabernet soaked loin of venison, fried caper berry, almond and flat leaf parsley salad. Bernays and pan juices. Now, where I come from, we call them drippings. Drippings. This is, you know, sort of country cooking. You know, this is basically what we call refrigerator marinade. That means basically, well, actually, that's even that is a modernized colloquialism, really, is icebox marinade. Meaning, basically, you take whatever you got in the ice box and you put it in the marinade. 
you know, whatever it may be, you need to have a wine there ready to say, I got you, you know, I, I'm with you at every place, you know, it's like dealing with somebody who's in, you know, that crazed sort of haiku state of spontaneous readiness, you know, Jackson Pollock hovering above the painting, John Coltrane moving towards the microphone with his saxophone, you know, this is that moment where anything could happen, you know, Zen Master about to drop 17 syllables on it, so... You need to be ready for whatever comes out because you need to harmonize, you need to integrate. You are nature at this point responding to the actions of life. So, a monodimensional single striation worth of wine doesn't stand a ghost's chance of meeting all those points, all those spontaneous um, volcanic dispensations of potency, of culinary potency, of flavor potency, of, of, of ingredient potency. Am I boiling? I'm not boiling yet. Am I boiling? No. Okay. Um, right, so, where was I? Um, haiku... Uh, uh, Painting, Jackson Pollock. <laughs> um, so, you need to be there. The wine. You, you as wine. This is very allegorical what I'm talking about here. <laughs> um, so, you need a wine that has that array of complexity. You need a wine that is subtle, sophisticated, giving, spontaneous, improvisational, complex, multi-striated. Uh, it, it's, it needs to be present at every moment when anything could come from the dish. And this is why Montebello is such a special wine.